Six days ago, Russia's Vladimir Putin sought to shake the very foundations of the free world, thinking he could make it bend to his menacing ways. But he badly miscalculated. He thought he could roll into Ukraine and the world would roll over. Instead, he met with a wall of strength he never anticipated or imagined. He met the Ukrainian people. The Ukrainian ambassador to the United States is here tonight, sitting with the First Lady. She's bright, she's strong, and she's resolved. We, the United States of America, stand with the Ukrainian people. He thought the West and NATO wouldn't respond. He thought he could divide us at home, in this chamber, in this nation. He thought he could divide us in Europe as well. But Putin was wrong. We are ready. We are united, and that's what we did. We stayed united. Tonight, I say to the Russian oligarchs and the corrupt leaders who built billions of dollars off this violent regime, no more. I mean it. We're joining with European allies to find and seize their yachts, their luxury apartments, their private jets. We're coming for your ill-begotten gains. And tonight, I'm announcing that we will join our allies in closing off American airspace to all Russian flights, further isolating Russia and adding additional squeeze on their economy. Let me be clear. Our forces are not engaged and will not engage in the conflict with Russian forces in Ukraine. And as I've made crystal clear, the United States and our allies will defend every inch of territory that is NATO territory with the full force of our collective power. Every single inch. To all Americans, I'll be honest with you, as I always promised I would be, a Russian dictator of fa invading a foreign country has cost around the world. Tonight, I can announce the United States has worked with 30 other countries to release 60 million barrels of oil from reserves around the world. These steps will help blunt gas prices here at home, but I know news about what's happening can seem alarming to all Americans. But I want you to know we're going to be okay. We're going to be okay to our fellow Ukrainian Americans who forge the deep bond that connects our two nations. We stand with you. We stand with you. Putin may circle Kyiv with tanks, but he'll never gain the hearts and souls of the Iranian people. He'll never, he'll never extinguish their love of freedom, and he will never, never weaken the resolve of the free world.